okay so let us start there are many forensic questions many were some were overlapping some were overlapping with the different uh, subjects so some might have been discussed already but you can always let me know so first question was on the sequence of just a second you to pronounce me i will be able to see the chats first question was on the sequence of rigor mortis so rigor mortis this is a simple question it was it is always from top to bottom this is the sequence of appearance as well as disappearance so uh, both the it's the same sequence so the answer will be head to foot head to foot theek hai and uh, students if you think any question i am missing just let me know theek hai bata dena second question was please brought a person from railway track with features of dry mouth ab isme student confused ho jate hain when the word dry is written whenever the word dry is written the first thing that should come to you is anticholinergic anticholinergic okay now the see morphine you all know it decreases the pupil size it decreases the pupil size so morphine cannot be the answer dhatura can cause dilatation cocaine can cause dilatation and alcohol can also cause pupil dilatation in early stages so pupil dilatation is not helping us now second clue which comes is through the dry skin now cocaine is sympathomimetic so it will cause sweating it will not be dry okay alcohol will have no effect on uh, skin it will neither be dry nor cold the tura is anticholinergic and dry always think of anticholinergic now somebody some people got confused by slurring of speech dekho ek you don't have to come to answer because of one only okay now please remember abhi heroin tha ya morphine tha heroin aur morphine are same only na same presentation kaisi baat karte ho lappad jhandoos wali dry skin dhatura isme some student got confused because of slurring of speech slurring of speech alcohol got confused alcohol slurring of speech can occur in dhatura also why because there is dry mouth dry mouth will lead to slurring of speech the main thing is alcohol does not lead to delirium na aise wo to withdrawal mein hota hai delirium roz daru peete hain delirium thodi na hota hai a dry mouth alcohol does not cause is dry mouth theek hai so the answer here is datura clear theek hai chalo next question next question some image was given and i think it was yellow नेडल शेप्ड क्रिस्टल्स येलो नेडल शेप्ड क्रिस्टल्स तो वेन एवर यू सी येलो नेडल शेप क्रिस्टल्स दैट इज ऑलवेज बारबेरियो इन फ्लोरेंस टेस्ट द क्रिस्टल्स आर डार्क ब्राउन रोम्बिक ओके लाइक दिस लाइक दिस एंड इन tikman also it is dark brown rhombic and in takayama it is pink feathery pink feathery so the answer is barberio theek hai chalo ji uske baad a child was born after 8 months of father's death ab dada ji ko shak ho raha hai unki bahu kahi aur se kuch karwa ke aayi hai so dekh they filed a case that baby might not be their sons but dna got positive and dna positive means it is positive so dna is positive so the child was born after the death of father after means post so post humus so after the death of uh, either parent is post humus okay chalo ji aage chale which of the following is contraindicated in आयरन ओवरडोज पूरा क्वेश्चन की जरूरत नहीं भी है तो सीधा सीधा एक बात याद रखो वेन इट कम्स टू बाल बाल इज कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेटेड इन सीको सीको बाल इज एस फॉर सेलिनियम एस फॉर सेलिनियम आई फॉर आयरन सी फॉर कैडमियम एंड ओ फॉर ऑर्गेनिक मर्करी so inorganic mercury may it can be used but it cannot be used in organic mercury theek hai chalo 
धतूरा वॉज नॉट इन दो अलग अलग क्वेश्चन रहे होंगे धतूरा वॉज इन दी ऑप्शन दो अलग अलग शिफ्ट के लोग स्टूडेंट्स हैं यहाँ पर सो आई एम डिस्कसिंग दी फर्स्ट शिफ्ट इन फर्स्ट शिफ्ट धतूरा वॉज देयर इन द ऑप्शन ओके अभी आई थिंक ये ओवरलैपिंग क्वेश्चन होता है तो एम टी पी का क्वेश्चन हर बार पूछा जाता है एंड टू क्वेश्चन टू थ्री क्वेश्चन आर ऑलवेज आस इज वेरी सिंपल लेस देन ट्वेंटी वीक्स यू कैन डू इन मल्टीपल कंडीशन लाइक कॉन्ट्रासेप्टिव फेलियर कॉन्ट्रासेप्टिव फेलियर इन मल्टीपल कंडीशन एंड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फोर वीक्स ट्वेंटी टू फोर ट्वेंटी फोर वीक्स यू कैन डू इन फ्यू कंडीशन इंक्लूडिंग रेप कंजनाइटल एनॉमली एटसेट्रा एंड अबाउ ट्वेंटी फोर वीक्स ओनली कंजनाइटल एनॉमली ठीक है सो इसमें एंड ऑल्सो बिफोर ट्वेंटी वीक्स यू नीड वन डॉक्टर्स ओपिनियन बिटवीन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फोर वीक्स यू नीड टू डॉक्टर्स ओपिनियन आफ्टर ट्वेंटी फोर वीक्स यू नीड द ओपिनियन ऑफ कंप्लीट मेडिकल बोर्ड विच विल कंप्राइज ऑफ मल्टीपल डॉक्टर जिसमें पीडियाट्रिशियन ऑफ्रिशियन रेडियोलॉजिस्ट All these people and any other specialty as required that will be there. So, in this, there is a victim of sexual assault. In rape, the MTP can be done after twenty to twenty-four weeks. So, one doctor involved, no MTP done to reduce MTP only done to reduce risk of mother, no. Rape itself is an indication. ठीक है ना? MTP can be done up to twenty-four weeks is the answer. ठीक है? चलो. Next question. Again, after twenty-four weeks, it will be medical board. Medical board will comprise of multiple doctors, but वकील का कोई काम नहीं है यहाँ पे. No lawyer, okay? चलो जी. So here it's, it was simple injury to mouth and nose. Students were getting so confused. फिर वही बिल्कुल ही नलायकों वाली बात कर रहे थे. So garroting and smothering is so, uh, sorry. If you go this. Just a second. If you go to this, hanging cannot be the answer. It is neck injury will be there in hanging. In garroting also is a compression of neck, so neck injury will be there. So garroting cannot be answer. Hanging cannot be answer. Gagging is forcing something inside the mouth, so nose should not be the injured. Here mouth and nose is injured, so mouth and nose will be injured. Some will put the hand on your mouth, so the answer is smothering. ठीक है? अच्छा डन इन ओबीजी तो ठीक है दोबारा सुन ले एक सेकंड ही तो लगा है चल मैन वियर फीमेल हील्स एंड ड्रेस मुझे तो नहीं पता ना डन इन ओबीजी अ मैन वियर्स थ्रोटलिंग अगर आंसर था थ्रोटलिंग विल आल्सो नॉट बी दी चॉइस थ्रोटलिंग विल नॉट बी दी चॉइस आंसर अगर है तो भी बिकॉज थ्रोटिंग इज ऑल्सो कंप्रेशन ऑफ नेक नेक इंजरी कहा है यहाँ पर नेक इंजरी तो है ही नहीं देर इज नो नेक इंजरी आंसर विल बी स्मोथरिंग ओनली ओके A man wears female heels and dress. So, a man is wearing female heels. So, that is transvestism. Or transvestism means he is before sex. That means he is getting arousal by wearing this. So, getting so transvestism can be because of some psychiatric disorder, or it can be because of sexual fantasy, sexual gratification. When the transvestism is because of sexual gratification, then it is called. transvestic fetishism so main thing is he is having it in, before having sex okay in gender dysphoria also one may wear clothes but it has got no uh, got nothing to do with before sex he will always wear it okay homosexuality is not interested in males voyeurism is totally separate watching someone so something related to sex means sexual perversion so answer is transvestic fetishism theek hai फोरेंसिक के क्वेश्चन तो ज्यादातर मेरे नोट्स के पढ़ाए हुए थे जो मैंने देखा है ठीक है अगर कुछ एक आध होंगे जो इधर उधर से आ गया होगा बॉय हैज बीन ब्रॉट फॉर सुपर फिकंडेशन भी पढ़ा दूंगा पहले ये सुन ले बॉय हैज बीन ब्रॉट फॉर मेडिकल लीगल एग्जामिनेशन ही वॉज क्लेमिंग टू बी ऑफ एटीन ईयर्स अब देखो इस क्वेश्चन में सीधी सी बात है एट सिक्सटीन ईयर्स वेन इट कम्स आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट इन सिक्सटीन ईयर्स बेसिकली इट्स दी इन दी एल्बो ज्वाइंट You see, my multiple changes. What happens is that the uh, internal epi, uh, this ex external epicondyle plus capitulum plus trochlea, they fuse with the shaft at fourteen to sixteen years. 
Okay, they fuse with sorry, they fuse. They, it becomes one congenital epiphysis. It becomes a congenital. So, yeah, okay, I can. That's a technical issue. So, epi external epicondyle, capitulum, and trochlea they fuse together to form one. They. Uh, minute, yeah, pen me yeah. Huh. They fuse together to form one conjoint epiphysis at 14 to 16 years. Okay. And at 16 to 17 years, it fuses with the shaft. So an elbow joint, multiple changes are going at 16 years. Okay. At multiple joint uh, changes are going at 16 years. Ankle joint also fuses at 16 to 17. But in elbow joint, multiple things are going on. Okay. The conjoint epiphysis is getting formed. It is getting shipped to the uh, multiple things are occurring at different ages. So elbow joint is best for around 16 years. Okay. Our elbow joint will be the best for around 16 years. Okay. In 20 years, sexual assault victim was examined in camera. In camera ka matlab hota hai, private examination. Man, uh, other public not allowed. Other public, other public not. Dekho, abhi raat ke deed do, deed baj raha hai. Isliye I am going fast. Thik hai, baad mein tasalli baksh karke aur detail mein video ban jayega. Abhi to tumhe answer se matlab hai na. Deed baj gaya hai, exam khatam karte hain, party karna uske baad. Jaisa bhi hua hai, thik hai. Other public not allowed. So that is in camera so isko hum bolenge closed proceeding so that the identity of the confidentiality is maintained because sensitive nature hai na so so the confidentiality is maintained can confidentiality is maintained okay ye bhi ho gaya four daughters and wants to do the sex determination what will you do dekho isme this Telling the sex is not the answer. Everybody knows. Don't do ultrasound cannot be the answer. Karna to hai na ilaj. The problem which happens is that whether you should check for, one does not have to tell the sex, that is okay. The problem is whether you should check for the sex or not. Okay. Whether you have to check for the sex or not, that is the issue. So I will tell you, practically speaking, if you ask me, practically speaking, the radiologist they check sex. They check the sex because many congenital anomalies are depending upon sex, but they don't tell them. But they don't tell patient. That is practical. But the law says you don't even have to check the sex unless absolutely required in few conditions. So there is a discrepancy between what is what does law says and what the doctors are doing practically. So I will go with the answer. Don't check for sex at all you don't check for it okay some somebody may say that a is the answer because practically it is done like that but because law always takes precedence the answer will be c okay answer will be c in methanol poisoning what is increased so see this about methanol leads to formaldehyde formaldehyde leads to formic acid itna everybody knows now, formic acid causes hypoxia, cellular hypoxia. Hypoxia leads to anaerobic respiration. So, anaerobic respiration leads to lactic acid formation. So, answer is formic acid and lactic acid. Okay. Now, uske baad, patient consumed a substance and presented with tachycardia, tachypnea, hypertension, hypocalcemia. Hypocalcemia, yaad rakhna hai. Hoye causes hypocalcemia. Hoye H for hydrofluoric acid, O for oxalic acid, E for ethylene glycol. Okay. This you remember. So, other things, though they are not that much matching with classical ethylene glycol presentation, but because hypocalcemia is written, so you uh, mark the answer as ethylene glycol. Okay. In a case of RTA, person is that who can order autopsy? Autopsy is always ordered by a police officer who is the investigating officer. Okay, this was a simple question. I don't know why I have See, who does the autopsy? But the person who does the autopsy, he will uh, 
he will be the answer. It's a police officer. So this was simple. Raindrop pigmentation was given, and mise lines was given. Mise lines are seen only in two conditions, basically arsenic and thallium. And unless and until alopecia is given, if alopecia is not given, then always choose arsenic as the answer instead of thallium. Okay, always choose arsenic as the answer. मिथेनॉल पॉइजनिंग में लैक्टिक एसिडोस था ना या बिल्कुल लैक्टिक एसिडोसिस के कारण ही तो हाई एन आयन गैप एसिडोसिस होता है उसमें इसमें ओनली टैटोइंग प्रेजेंट इफ ओनली टैटोइंग इज प्रेजेंट दैट विल बी इंटरमीडिएट रेंज नो ब्लैकनिंग नो सिंजिंग ठीक है उसके बाद आई थिंक सम क्वेश्चन वॉज ऑन मेडरोसिस ऑल्सो कुछ मेडरोसिस का था सर इतना सिंपल था इसलिए गलत हो गया सर कोई बात नहीं यार हो गया तो हो गया गलत अब तो अपने आप को पीटने की जरूरत नहीं है एग्जाम खत्म का नहीं खत्म खत्म करो थैलियम समथिंग मेटरोसिस वर गिवन लॉस ऑफ लेटर साइड ऑफ आईब्रोज देन द आंसर विल बी थैलियम अडीपोसीर अब इसमें सम स्टूडेंट्स कोल्ड प्लीज रिमेंबर वन थिंग मम्मीफिकेशन रिक्वायर्स वेरी हाई टेम्परेचर and adipocy requires warm temperature because enzymes will work best on the enzyme a uh, warm temperature they will not work best when it is very cold or very hot so here people got confused because of very high temperature concepts are important or temperature high high matlab optimum hona chahiye enzymes will work best at the optimum temperature basically there is saponification of fats so answer will be d okay